Hey guys, Will here, just time prepping. How you guys doing today? Hey, uh, just a quick update. We need nine more subscribers. And we'll be able to start that 2K push. So, I guess I uh, this video is just to kind of get you guys to know. I get this thing to focus right. And uh, let you guys know... I'm getting everything put together, but before I show you everything that I have for uh, the giveaway, I want to show you what all I shall be busy doing over the next uh, couple of days. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull you guys over here and then we're going to look at what I have going on and uh, then uh, we'll talk about the giveaway, okay? So let me turn you guys around here. Hold on, Let's turn it the right way. Ah, look at there, you guys. All these parts right here I have to put together. I can't do it on camera because YouTube has this uh, restriction against it. So I thought I would just put them all here uh, as one little kit type of thing. Is we have the upper. Now we have the lower, and now I have the trigger assembly and whatnot, and then the stock. And now I gotta do is figure out where all those dark parts go <laughs> and put them together. I guess it'd be like Legos or something like that, huh? But the thing is, I don't do this so it looks like I'm a, a marauder or anything. Is is I like to hunt and always have. I've always been a hunter. But the big thing is to have this stuff on hand in case, uh, oh, heck, break loose, you know, the end of the world as we know it, Tiawaki or whatever you want to call it. But, you know, this is basically just to keep myself and my family safe. Uh, you know, you could call it an assault rifle, but it's not really an assault rifle. It's a hunting rifle. And it's going to be a protection unit for me and my family. So that's why I'm looking at it. And I'm going to pull you just a little bit closer here. Hold on. Try to do this like this so I don't shake you too much. And get you down here. And as you can see, it's not a... Uh, it's an AR, but it's not really uh, built to be an AR. It's built to be a hunting rifle. So that's uh, the... The difference between assault rifle, I guess, and uh, the other stuff. So, you know, I can still put the scope on the rail and whatnot, the uh, uh, flashlight underneath. Oh, look at there, I got some blood going down my arm. Oh, I was wondering what that was in the camera. Anyway, I don't know where that came from. There we go. There. I'm always bleeding, you guys know me. So, uh, I'm going to be putting this together over the next couple of days and uh, hopefully I get all the A's with the B's and the B's with the D's and all that stuff. So I'm going to pull you back up here. Okay, here we go. Hold on. And um, I'll be back. <clears throat> okay, we're back. All right, let's talk about uh, the coming up drawing. I'm going to have a drawing when I hit 2K, but we're going to have a push. I'm going to be calling it the 2K push, and it's going to start when I hit 1800, which is, oh, I don't know, about nine people away from there. And then when we get to the 1800 mark, then we will start uh, pushing for the 2K, and uh, the rules will come out on that time. Figuring that will be sometime tomorrow. But, I want to show you some of the stuff I have here for the drawing already. I have uh, one more thing that, uh, or a couple more things I think. A uh, couple of things I'd like to put in there, but we'll try to get what I can. So hold on a second, let's get down there. I kind of show you what it is. Let me pull the camera a little closer. There we go. Hold on. Okay, that way I can get my hand in here, show you. Okay, this little item here is a charger. It's a solar charger. It was donated by a subscriber. 
L. Claiborne, Claybo, excuse me, and it does a lot of stuff. It is three power, solar charger, waterproof compass with a dual LED flashlight on it. I took it out of the box and it is a pretty cool looking little unit. Uh, I'm not going to take it all the way out, but it has all that stuff that it says on there. You could just hang it off of your backpack or whatever. Tight little box. You just hang it off your backpack or whatever and let it charge while you're walking or hiking. Or you could just hang it off your tent or whatever when you're there. It's got a couple of USB ports on it. Uh, it has a compass. It has a... The flashlight has like three settings on it for strobe and whatnot, so you can signal with it. Very nice little charger. I'd like to thank uh, L. Claybo right now for putting this up for the donations. <coughs> so that's sort of what I have here on that. Another thing we have is this little holster thing that I made. It has a compass in it right here. Let me grab that out. It has a compass right here. The other end has, the other end has, haven't had that out there for a while, has a ferro rod in it right here. So the ferro rod and I put the compass together so you can't lose them. Uh, handy little thing. Uh, hangs from your belt right here, excuse me, right here, belt loop. And then also has our leg tie here so it's not swinging in the wind. So, that is also going to be in the drawing. i get this back in there real quick, guys. Uh, there we go. So, that's one of the items also in there. Another thing I have in there that's not here yet is it is going to be a... Uh, folding knife and from what I've seen of it so far it is uh, would make a great neck knife or something like that it does quite a few things it's being donated through Holtzman's I do some reviews for Holtzman's so he said since I am getting ready to do my 2k drawing that he would donate this little knife and it's not here yet, so as soon as it gets here, you guys will get a chance to see it. It's a cool looking little knife. And so that's going to be in there as well. So then, here is a, a wrist band. And this thing has seven things in it. I did a review on it, and I probably didn't do a very good review on it. But I can tell you right now that it has the flint strike right here has a ferro rod built into the buckle right here this little gadget right here is a safety whistle so a little safety whistle in it and also in here if you'll see there's these little uh, velcro like things in the back you know what that's for that is for the hand saw that is built into the the braiding on it so it's a hand saw has a cable saw in there has a ferro rod has all that paracord safety whistle it's a pretty handy old thing here seven in one right there so that will be also in the drawing and it's made by Holtzman's and there'll be a, a link down below for you guys uh, <coughs> uh, there'll probably be a link for all of it I'll find a link for everything that I can uh, also from Holtzman's is this handy little keychain, which has a, it's not a cheap little hook on there. I don't know if you guys can really see that, but it also has <clears throat> that little round thing. All right, I'm back. We got bumped out, but anyway, I'll get back to where I was at. has a cute little round thing here. I don't know if you guys know about that, but you could find you a little piece of dead stick or something and stick the stick through there and you sit there and you can rub it back and forth and you get the the fine stuff off of it so you have fire starter <clears throat> and it has all these other little doodads on it it has the safety whistle it has uh, the striker for the ferro rod that's in there 
And it is just a terrific little uh, keychain. I mean, it's got the ferro rod built into it and everything. I mean, you just can't get any better than having one of these things with you. <clears throat> so this is going to be in the giveaway also. So, And then on top of that, we'll have the knife. This little knife, it has a paracolt cord cutter. Also, uh, if you look, try to get it to get on there. It has a glass breaker end on it. Has a uh, flashlight, and then on this end is a ferro rod also. So, it's a nice little knife here. It has a bottle opener on it. Ferro, try to get it down here where you guys can see. Ferro rod, uh, not ferro rod, but... Uh, a scraper, you know, serrated rod so you could uh, take off some of your magnesium or whatever for your fire. So this is a pretty handy little knife right here. I used it for a while after I bought it so that it would uh, see if I could get it to pass the test. And it did, so it's going to be in the drawing as well. Uh, other than other thing is going to be the axe that I bought. The hand axe, it was a, a Grand Western, or whatever they call that, Union. I took uh, and made a sheath for it. I tooled in, I don't know if you guys can see that, but I tooled a deer in there. has all the hatchets on there. It had uh, a paracord here, but I took the paracord off, put regular lashing on there, leather lashing, because it lasts a little longer whatnot and then it ties in there so it also has a belt hook on the back so there you go that's in there and then i'm gonna have a custom knife in there as well uh pepper madness makes the knives i make the cheese most of you guys know how it goes this is a nice burl handle here so along with a side draw knife now this knife can be down here on your side so you can pull across or you can also carry it in the back, scout style. So, this is a nice little knife. So, so far, folks, let me get this back up. So far, this is what we have for the uh, drawing. And I would really like for you guys to uh, look this stuff over and whatnot. And decide that you'll bring your friends over to the uh, channel so that we can have a great, little drawing. I mean, I never really thought that I would get to 2,000, uh, much less 200, you know, so to me, this is, means a lot to me, so uh, nine more people. I'm going to make a video tomorrow posting the rules for it, and we'll probably kick it off as soon as I hit 1,800, but I'll get the rules up tomorrow, and we'll make sure that we get everything taken care of, so that's really about all I have for today. I took a little longer than I had uh, meant to on my video time. But these are all things I thought were important to you and uh, you guys should know. So, uh, you guys know I can't, I can't do any of this that I do without you. I love each and every one of you guys from the bottom of my heart. You guys have made this... Uh, uh, unforgettable journey a, a unforgettable journey i mean uh, i'm an older gentleman with uh, some health issues but you know i don't care i come out here to uh, share what i have learned over my years with you guys and you guys have welcomed me with open arms so that means a lot to me so as you guys know it's god bless you it's always going to be god bless me and it's always always going to be god bless you as well so, till next time, I'll see you out there on the tube. Have a great day.